Our reporter Julia Bradley is in Cook. So, Julia, a lot of talk about the low turnout, but of course we're expecting a big number of people to pre-poll as a percentage. How are things out there in Cook? It's really down to the wire now, Tom, ahead of pre-poll closing. So I have to say there has been quite an uptick in foot traffic since we've been here today. We're at one of four polling booths in the electorate and it is a lot busier compared with days gone by. And that's after the Australian Electoral Commission urged people to get out and vote because they're concerned by what has been a low turnout during the early voting period, especially compared with recent federal contests, including the voice referendum and the last federal election. Now, last hour we were speaking with the Liberal candidate for this seat, Simon Kennedy. He's hopeful of retaining this seat for the party, which of course has been vacated by our former Prime Minister Scott Morrison. He held it on a margin of 12%. So Simon hoping for a win tomorrow and hoping to do so with a healthy margin as well. Now, he was with his family last hour. Some of them have headed over to a different booth, but Mum Louise is still holding down the fort in Karangba. Louise, can I ask, why do you think Simon would be a good MP for the area? Well, I think there's a few reasons. I think he's very economically smart and he understands the concerns of ordinary Australians. Um, he's hardworking. His experience is second to none with, um, in that field. So, and he's got a big heart. And I think, yes, I think he's very, he can relate to all levels, you know, people. He's very easy to talk to. Um, yes, I think he would, and very, you know, he would work very hard for the electorate. He is an out-of-towner, though. He only recently moved to Cook. Does that make him eligible to know about the issues facing people here? I think federally, yes. I mean, I think if it was, you know, a local council or something, but I think federally, you know, Australians are all facing the same tough issues, particularly cost of living, and he has embraced you know, the, the Shire here and, and the Cook electorate. And, um, yes, I think, you know, he was um, a very competent and I think he'll do a fantastic job. Yeah. Louise, just quickly as well, last hour you mentioned that you and your husband previously taught Sky News host Paul Murray. Can you give yes. me your worst story about him as a student? I guess one that stands out is when we were doing sport together. I, I was Paul's teacher at North Ride Aquatic Centre and Paul got kicked off the bus and <laughs> he, he had to wander up to the pool and um, then the teachers were all, we were all telling Paul off but in the middle of that you know, the episode, one of the members of the public jumped into Paul's defence and we, we all had to shut down. Always winning over the people. Always winning and he gave us, he gave this little fist, Paul, in the air. Thank you, Louise. <laughs> We've been out speaking with people in this electorate about the issues that they care about. Um, the environment and just about general living, employment for everybody. Uh, that's bad. Um, cost of living, basically. That's, uh, it's all out of control. Everything seems to go up every week and uh, needs to settle down. I've noticed a lot of um, overdevelopment um, occurring, but I know that's happening all over the place. I think we've got some uh, big issues about the economy and uh, what's the right way to go forward. I'm surviving. I'm surviving. But it'd be nice to have a little bit extra in the pocket. Julie, you better find out why he was kicked off the bus. We, we heard people came to his defence. Maybe it was, I don't know, was his free speech being curtailed? There you go. Julia's off. She might be going. We're on a mission, to Tom. We're on a mission. Paul Murray's Louise, why did teacher? Paul get kicked off the bus? I must know. <laughs> oh, I think he was insulting the bus driver. I think he was <laughs> threatening to have the bus driver fired. <laughs> why was he threatening to have him fired? <laughs> because he had contacts in the bus company. That's. <laughs> Sorry, Paul, the truth does eventually come out. That is hilarious. <laughs> Troublemaker from the early days, Tom. You've heard it here first. Gee, I'm, I'm worried what we've uncovered here. Um, Julia, thank you. I think, Paul, you can blame me if there's any blowback. At, uh, but uh, there you go, a troublemaker from his young years. Julia, thank you. We'll let you get back to the good voters there, of course.